Hello there, how are you? It's Joanne Lavelle here and you join me in Mount Bagnall, Riverstown, which is an area just north of Dundalk within the Cooley Peninsula. Today I'm going to show you this lovely four bedroom detached bungalow on a site that is just magical. It's got flowers, it's got scent, it's got food, it's just beautiful. Um, the property itself, before we look inside, I'll tell you a bit about where we are. So Mount Bagnall is just beside Giles's Quay, which is a small seaside neighbourhood halfway between Dundalk and Carlingford. Uh, so from where I'm standing now, looking straight over that direction, I can see mountains, I have a glimpse of the sea, and also if I walk for about 10 minutes, I'll find myself in the sea at that very popular swimming spot, Giles's Quay. Uh, and also further out into the peninsula, you have the whole array of things to do, the amenity of the mountains and uh, the amenity of the sea and the shore. You are right smack bang in the middle of just the most beautiful countryside. And behind the house then also fantastic mountain scenery. So the property itself here measures around about 120 square metres, has a D2 BE or plenty scope for improving that. It has the benefit of a very large detached workshop to the back of the property and just wait until you see that garden. As I say, flowers, fragrance and food in abundance on all scores. So let's take a look inside and uh, then we'll have a look out in the back garden. Into the entrance hallway, it's lovely and a wide entrance hallway, nice and bright as well, um, with a timber clad ceiling. And straight away, we're going to head into the right hand side where we're into the first of the rooms. Now, this is bedroom number one and it is onto the front of the house. In most recent years, it's been used more so as an office. So I suppose we'll call it multi-purpose, but for the purpose of the accommodation, it is, of course, a bedroom. Now, it benefits from this beautiful big gallery window. Now, at the moment, you can't see much of the view outside because it's a little bit overcast, but um, you are in the right direction for having sea views there. So as you can see there, that has the space for a double bed. We'll carry on with the uh, bedroom accommodation and go along through the hallway. Bedroom number two, you can see also that ceiling still clad here. Bedroom number two, this would be the largest of the bedrooms and it's a super size. So you can see there plenty space for your double bed and probably room for a good big double bed too. At the moment we're freestanding storage here. Equally, it would be very easy to apply some built-in storage. Now, behind me here, you have a toilet wash hand basin. However, there is additional space, storage space off the hallway, which with some clever adapt adaptation from here would actually deliver an ensuite, a proper ensuite to that bedroom. So, as I say, you know me, I always like to point out a couple of opportunities. Next is number three, again, a lovely double room. This room is at the back of the house overlooking that beautiful garden, stay tuned for that. Um, again, in this instance, this is actually built-in storage. I know many of you are very keen on the built-in over the freestanding storage, so that's a great bay of storage wardrobes there. Uh, lovely bedroom that and then number four also this is a more neat double with lots of built-in storage around the bed um, and again we're at the back of the house and in fact that storage runs through to include a little vanity unit here beside the door so very well purposed accommodation and every space well used I'll show you now the main the bathroom of the house so it's fully tiled there's bath and separate shower there. Uh, that's the shower unit there, which you can see. So a good size for a family bathroom. Now we'll go on to the kitchen and the living room. It's a lovely bright kitchen. And in fact, when you're sitting here or whether you're standing at the sink, peeling, peeling the spuds, or whether you're sitting down there at the kitchen table having a cup of tea, you actually have a lovely view of the local mountain scenery there, which I think is, it's such a gift in life to be able to glimpse that beautiful scenery where you live. So that's just looking at the room from the other side. Okay, you can see there, as it stands at the moment, it's a very competent kitchen, plenty storage space, plenty worktop space, and integrated oven at the center of it with a tiled splashback. Um, so whether you're looking to move into a house and just get stuck in and live in it and enjoy it, 
or whether you want to make your own, put your own stamp on it, this kitchen is uh, suitable for both purposes. Behind me, a, um, a utility room and off here also the hot press. Again, ceiling is tongued and grooved, uh, timber ceiling there. And then going out, going along here, we're into this really super spacious uh, living room area. It's actually so big that you could, if you wanted to, you could zone it further if you wanted to create, you know, different purposes throughout the room. It's filled with light, thanks to those two lovely big windows. And um, it's, as I say, very finely appointed. And you can see here, it's a fireplace there. That's a solid fuel fire. And by the look of it, with a back boiler there, worth checking out. So you can see there, it is a super bright room, even on an overcast day, it's absolutely lovely. So that is the living accommodation, which extends to around about 118 square meters. So there's plenty of it. Now I want to show you the outside and wait until you see the variety that's going on in the back garden. So here I am now out in the back garden and it is a gardener's paradise out here. You have this beautiful rose section here which matches those beautiful roses in the front of the house and then an entire area dedicated to whatever fruit you can almost imagine. It's probably growing in this garden from berries to apples to plums and cherry trees and everything and it's it can either be a working garden for the next people or simply a beautiful place to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, and of course, because we're also so close to Giles's Quay and the beach there, um, you really will have so many beautiful options to do um, associated with this house. So thank you so much for joining me on this virtual viewing. I'm looking forward to doing viewings here with any of you that would like to see it. And I'm looking forward to your comments as ever. If you have any, please do let us know. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then hit the subscribe button because we always like to know that you're keeping an eye on us. Thank you so much for joining me here in Mount Bagnell and see you soon.